guys, welcome back to another ADSR and Massive Synth tutorial. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, do that at youtube.com forward slash ADSR toots. So that was a quick little rundown of the tip and kind of more tips and trick I'm going to be showing you today as opposed to making those sounds, that pluck sound and that snare. Um, what I wanted to show you is probably going to be a really quick tutorial, one of the shorter ones I've ever done. Um, basically showing you how to make Massive more playable and responsive using turning on the velocity sensitivity. So I have a new sound pulled up, like you know the default sound that you bring up when you go file new sound and massive, and that's this. And you'll notice that if I t um, play my keyboard, you should be able to hear me hitting the key loudly. And now can't hear me hitting the key. Playing it soft and loud, the volume through massive is the same. Pulling up a uh, MIDI editor in Logic, and every DAW has these. Here's my velocity tool, which this will let me click and drag. So right now, the velocity is at 100, and if I click and drag it down, the notes should get quieter or louder, depending on if I go up or down with the velocity. And you can see that it does not. Um, by default, Massive isn't set up to have a velocity sensitivity kind of turned on. So you might be thinking, well, what's the what's the benefit of that? The benefit is there's a lot actually. Um, first thing that comes to mind is uh, let's take this sound for an example. So I have the lead in here, right, and I have. Uh, kind of the chords and this would be in the bass realm it's getting lower um, let's say with this lead I, I'm starting to make a track and I don't want it as loud as my actual lead so let me pull up a new track I'll copy this down I will uh, I will then take all these and turn these this velocity down really low and I'll just mute the really low notes and I'll turn up the velocity of that kind of high-pitched lead. And now in Massive, I will uh, just grab a new sound. OK. And then what I'll do is I need to do this to turn on the velocity sensitivity. And now. So now you'll hear that these are really quiet, and I can make them louder using the velocity. Um, and now let's see how that's helpful. Now, if I if I wanted to layer these two sounds together. So th that's kind of where it becomes important. Or take, for instance, a um, uh, like a drum sound in Massive, like this. I have a snare sound pulled up. So you can see over in the fader, it got louder as it goes from left to right. So the blue in Logic are the quieter notes. Green's a little bit louder. Orange and red is where it gets extremely loud. So that will be really loud. And you can, I'm going to play it again, and you can watch the volume fader. So it got progressively louder. And now the only, re only reason that it's doing that is what you need to do in Massive is you need to take your velocity macro control, click it and drag it to the source in your amp mod. And that what it will do is by default, uh, it's the, the amp mod set up to your envelope four, but now it's using the velocity information coming in from like your MIDI, your MIDI keyboard or maybe you're drawing in the notes manually. And now you have a much more responsive instrument. Um, so this is really helpful for pads, plucks, leads, can you can be mix conscious with it and say, okay, maybe I have a bass note, and then in this example with these plucks, I I, I want to keep the chord feel, but I just want to turn down the bass notes. This stops you from having to do a workaround of bouncing just the bass notes in place, rendering to audio, turning that, that down, and then kind of mixing. You can just do it all with the MIDI now. So pretty simple tip. 
Um, hopefully you guys found it useful and you guys can use this in your own productions. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know below and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. And if you haven't, checked out, check out MassiveSynth.com. Uh, tons of tutorials, sound sets, basically everything massive. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.